Hey everybody, it's a Glenn puppet you can make at home with these custom Glenn socks. This is so fucked up. First, separate your Glenn character socks from their packaging and each other. You can use them as sock puppets just the way they are, if you like. That's the way to do it if you also want to use them as socks. We're gonna ruin ours though. Start by cutting the toe off. You only need to do this with one of the socks to make one puppet. On the other hand, you could use a second one. Do you get it? Next, outline the first half of your mouth pattern on some kind of rigid material. We're using the cardboard from the back cover of a drawing pad. You're going for something like a half ellipse. It doesn't have to be super precise. Ours turned out pretty good though. Now cut it out, use it to trace another shape to match, then cut that one out too. Together these will be your puppet's mouth plate. Tape them together on the inside to make a hinge. Looking good. We want this to be black to match the inside of the real Glenn's real mouth. Lining it with felt or something would be best, but we're making this project in a hurry with stuff we've got lying around. The completed mouth plate will fit in the mouth hole, sort of. When you make yours, it might pay off to experiment a little bit with different sizes and shapes both in the plate and in the incision you make in the sock. Now glue it into place, top and bottom. And there you have it, a DIY puppet pal to keep you company during what we can only presume are many, many long and lonely days. Now you're all set for hours of entertainment at home with your very own Glenn. Pretty cool, right? What is wrong with you psychos? Glenn.